Hello, James. Go ahead and get started. First question, Cody Davis. Hey, James, um, can you talk about what DeMarcus Cousins will bring to this offense? You know, he seems like a guy who's going to be really big, uh, a really big scoring threat down on the low post. Uh, he's very versatile uh, scoring wise. You know, he can he can score from the block, which we've all seen before. Uh, he's way more comfortable with his, with his three ball. Um, so he's versatile. You know, he can he's very, uh, you know, have different dynamics to his game offensively, uh, which you know, allows us more spacing. Jonathan Fagan. James, you mentioned last week that you were in catch up mode. Where are you in that process now? And do you regret missing that first week of training camp in the two games to force yourself to have to adjust to new coaches, new system, new players? I mean, we keep talking about what I miss. Um, I mean, yeah, I think everybody, the entire league is in, in catch up mode in a sense of, you know, we only had a short time. As, for training camp, you know, so everybody's trying to get into game shape because obviously the season just ended a few months ago. So um, I think the entire league is on the same pace as far as, you know, trying to get into game shape conditioning. Um, and so it's only have four preseason games, but uh, I think for us, you know, these last few days have been going pretty hard. We've been playing a lot of uh, scrimmage uh, basketball, uh, going over drills. So uh, yeah, we're getting there. How do you feel about where you are on that process? I feel good. Thank you. Mark Berman. I know it's only been a small sample, James, but what have you thought about the possibilities now with, with you and, and John Wall and what you guys can bring to the table together out there? Uh, his playmaking ability is, is, you know, very, very good. You know, he's getting guys shots. He's getting into the paint. He's drawing, you know, you know pressure at the rim, uh, which allows everybody to get shots, you know, so um, he's showing his quickness. And then uh, obviously we got guys around him that, you know, are able to catch and shoot and, uh, you know, finish the plays off for him. James, what, what is it luxury to, to have a guy like Eric Gordon, who's fine with coming off the bench, can bring you spark when you bring him in? I mean, we all see what Eric, you know, we all know how great Eric is, you know, either role. But you know how important he was, you know, for, for that six-man role um, he had a few years ago. He was unbelievable. Um, he just, he, he's always, you know, comfortable. Uh, and he's never in a hurry. Um, obviously, we, his shot making is, is, is elite. And uh, he just, he just, you know, being way more aggressive um, for the last few weeks that I've seen there. Adam Spolin. James, now that you've been in camp for about a week, do you feel any better about this situation now than you did before you arrived? Next question. Kaylee Griffin. Hey, James, uh, when we talk to you and, and your accomplishments, you always talk about the work that you continuously put in. In this shortened off season, what were some of the areas that you focused on in terms of continuing to, to put work and to potentially even elevate your game to another level? Um, I think just like my post up area, uh, catching the ball lower, lower on the floor, and not having it, you know, so so far out, you know, all the time, uh, particularly you know around the free throw area, or, or even both sides of the block. But um, you know when it's when you know you need a basket, you need a bucket. You know, the, certain situations like that is what I've been working on. I think for me, it's always conditioning. It's always, you know, you know, trying to be in the best shape as I can because if I feel like I'm, in, if I'm in the best shape, skill wise, it's 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 already there, you know. So um, that's the most important thing for me. Christy Rakin. Christy. Hey James, I was wondering, what are your expectations for yourself and for this team this year? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we yes. Heard you. Kim Davis. All right, we'll go to Jonathan Fagan. Yeah, I was just going to repeat Christy's question. She was saying, what are your expectations for this team and for yourself this season? My expectations never change. Uh, individually be the best basketball player in the world uh, as a team, you know, try to get up in, in the top three seed, you know, and, and always give yourself a chance. That's, that's the most important. You know, if you're, if you're in the top three seeds um, and obviously you're, you're one of the teams, you know, in, in the game of basketball, but 
when it comes postseason time, you give yourself a chance for home court advantage. Thank you. We'll take two more. Jason Bristol. James, what are your thoughts on, on Christian Wood? It seems like you guys had a little bit of chemistry, but I assume when you got a big with those kind of skills, that, that comes easy. Did you get a sense of that at all? Or Yeah, I mean, very athletic, uh, uses his length very, very well, um, can shoot the basketball, um, can handle it and make a play. You know, he's very versatile as a big, and uh, it's a nightmare matchup for guys that, uh, for, you know, natural centers that are closing out to him or trying to guard him one-on-one. Mark Berman. James, James, along those lines, as you've seen this team try to retool and develop every year, add pieces, what do you think about the pieces they've added around you now going into the season? Well, Christian Wood, all the different guys around you, DeMarcus, John, and all in general. Um, fairly a new team. You know, there's only a few of us left, um, but fairly new team. And, you know, the guys are putting a lot of work in. You know, this training camp and preseason has been, you know, good. You know, since I've been here and guys are working extremely hard. I think, uh, you know, from practice to games, the carryover has been great. So, um, and that's all you can ask for. You know, guys are listening and competing at a high level. Thank you, James. Thank you.